How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30 with another episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. This is episode 20 of season 9, A Horseshoe Inn. I don't really know what to expect with this. I really don't. Uh, all I see... There's a freeze frame showing here, and I don't think it's what... It, it's not how it starts, I'm pretty sure. Of There's Starlight Glimmer, there's Trixie, and there's Sunburst. And I'm assuming something to do with something going on at the school. Um, I don't really know. I couldn't say one way or another what exactly is going to be going on. Uh, all I know is, well, uh, well, I really don't. I really don't. So I'm glad I managed to avoid spoilers for this one. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, let's just go ahead and go see what's in this. Ugh. Excuse me. So, yeah, hopefully that's not a consistent thing throughout this reaction. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Make sure you support Hasbro, support the official release goal. Make sure that you have seen it on an official website or whatever before you watch me react to this. Don't use me as your way of watching this episode, okay? Because there are going to be uh, there are going to be a few little blocked out pieces now that's going to be... I guess the motif for the rest of these reactions for this series. There's going to be little segments, and I'm going to try not to make them too often, but just enough to where the algorithm doesn't immediately block me, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get into this. I think you School really of Friendship. Spruce up the office, Miss Philodendron. Oh, oh, I'm going to call you Phyllis. Don't you look good, Phyllis? Come in. Were you just talking to someone? <laughs> no. Why? Uh -huh. Stop it. I have something very important to discuss with you. Yeah. If this is about leaving early yesterday. I didn't have any students on my schedule, and Trixie was having a magical emergency, which actually turned out to be nothing. <laughs> no. It's not anything like that. <clears throat> Twilight Sparkle, the yeah. princess of friendship, in light of her impending ascension to the throne of Equestria. And in anticipation of her many duties and responsibilities forthwith, does hereby intend to make good on her previous offer to you, Starlight Glimmer, of replacing her as head mayor of the school. So that's coming around. I want you to take over the school when I move to Canterlot. I know. It's just so amazing. I'm a little. Do you Stress. think I'm really up for it? Okay, Stressful. You. I've covered for you every time you've had to run off and save Equestria, but I mean, yes, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. And I can't think of any pony who'd be better for the job. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm mostly just nervous. I understand. Yeah. Thank you, Bobby. I'll have a Same. lot of important nervous responsibilities as ruler of Equestria, but I'll always be available to help whenever <gasps> you need. New letter? Are Hello. you supposed to be at a royal etiquette lesson with Celestia and Luna right now? Right. Uh, can't underestimate the important responsibility of royal napkin placement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> napkin placement. Wow. Uh, I mean, no biggie, right, Phyllis? I've totally got this. Phyllis, no, you were so young. Oh. Oh. Um. It'll be blocked out for you guys. It'll be quieted down. But I can't. I, I find myself not wanting to skip the intro anymore because these are these are the last times we will hear it. So even though I'm talking over it, it's like. How far, how long it's been that, see, I first became a fan of this in season three, just before Twilight got her wings. And to have seen the, the intro has stayed the same, the song is no different, really, the only change was there was a, there was a very slight tune difference at the start, once season two came rolling around. But other than that, it has stayed the same. Slight differences and in the intro animation, maybe. Like, they finally changed things up in Season 8. Which is about daggone time. For 
more so than it been before, but I don't know. This is I'm actually going to kind of miss hearing that, and I don't know what they're going to do for next gen when the theme song comes around. Hopefully it's t it's good. I'm hoping. Hopefully it's nothing cringe-inducing. But we'll see. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try to enjoy these last few ones, so yeah, and no spoilers for any of the future episodes even though they've all essentially been leaked. Don't do that to me, guys. Hi. You know I'm Trixie. nothing but proud that you've been officially offered the position of head mayor. Thanks. But yeah. I but keep wondering if it's going to cut into our social schedule. What do you mean? Take social now, schedule. For example, instead of heading to the delightful lunch I had planned, we're striving with determination toward what I can only assume is Twilight's office. Yes. Obviously, our lunch is super important, but so is taking over the school. And the yes, it is. Really run the school of friendship is the princess of friendship. Yes. And I'm worried about doing it all alone, so I want to get as much advice from Twilight as I can while she's still here. Good but Twilight's thoughts. never really done anything alone. She always has her friends. Yes. But that just gave me an idea. Thanks, uh -oh. Trixie. Uh oh. Give good advice when you don't mean to. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Are yeah. you still doing lunch? <laughs> you give good advice when you don't mean to. <laughs> Getting royal Perfect line. Just right is a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Uh, I know how busy you are, but I wanted to talk to you about running the school because honestly, yes. I was a bit worried about taking it over all on my own. But yes. I just realized you never did it alone. She's doing origami. Having a friend help out is pretty great. Exactly. So, Man. what do you think about me hiring a vice head mayor to help run things? I trust you to run the school any way you want. And if that means hiring a vice head mayor, I think it's a great idea. It's really? Not true. Like no. You said, don't pick I who I think you're going to pick. To help. And don't worry, you can always call on me uh, to Twilight. Don't you do it. You were supposed to be at the boutique five minutes ago for your second fitting for the coronation gown. Ugh, how many fittings are there going to be? A lot. Anyway, D that's a safe answer. I know you'll pick the right pony for the job. Wow, I heard the whole thing, and all Don't. I can say is, I am humbled. Uh, why? I hadn't ever considered it, but hearing you say it out loud made me realize what a great and powerful Trixie. vice head there I'll be. No. We get to work and socialize at the same time. Oh, well, sure, that would be fun, but I can't just give you the job. Um, oh, no, of course Duh. not. Duh, okay, so that's where the shoe in part comes in. I process to go through before you inevitably hire the best pony for the position. Wink. Exactly. I'll probably interview several ponies. Yes. Of course. Smart. Several. Good. Wink. Why Trixie. Why do you keep saying wink? I'm not saying wink. Wink. <laughs> I'm glad you all decided to be part of the search for the school. Okay. No, no you kick her. Kick her. Kick, her. kick that one at the end. If you're looking for some pony to fundraise, I can bring in enough bits to have several buildings named after me. Well, no. that's not the Kick primary you. responsibility Kick. of the vice head mayor, but any pony is welcome to apply. I think the selection process I've come up with is pretty special. I'll be Shell. unnecessary. <clears throat> Since Big Mac is an interesting choice. Prove you have what it takes to be vice head mayor. Doctor Who's, I would say yes. Octavia. Each stage will take interesting. a different scale Let's hear her voice. head mayor needs. Only those who do well will move through the stages until finally the best candidate rises to the top. Alrighty. So, Good, Starlight. Good. Ado, it's time for stage one. Substituting for the teachers. Well, well. Once the students get a sample of my great and powerful instruction, they might not want to go back to the regular faculty. Yeah, Big Mac of the eye roll. Wow, that seam is so straight. Really? Maybe we learned how to sew from mending apple sacks on the farm? Mm, yep. Hmm. Good on them to give Big Mac a skill. Loyalty is the foundation of friendship and trust. But nothing gets more loyalty than a big stack of bits. This book on business will teach you all how to earn your own. Chapter 1, Equity. No. Ha, ha, ha.
There you go. Good Octavia. No! Hey! Good improvisation on the spot. Yes, 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 yes. Doctor... Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I must use it for this one. Where? I found you. Yes! Okay. Doctor Who's is good. Big Mac is good. And Octavia is good. A bunch of boring stuff. For a really long time. Pixie, you're not engaging. You're not a good teacher. But I never learned any of it. And look how I turned out. Boring. No. Okay, Phyllis. There you go. Obviously, those three are moving on. What yes. The rest? Mm -hmm. I think we're in agreement on this one. No. Definitely no. Burn it. Oh, I know what you're gonna say, but it would be so much fun to have my vice head mayor be a friend. She just needs a little more hoof holding than some of the others. But oh no. It could still work out. Right? Oh no, no. Starlight, Starlight, stick with your. I've given this a lot of thought, and even though I still believe naps are a valid use of class time, you'll be the one running the school. So if mm -hmm. you say no naps, then no naps. And I know I can be a little stubborn and not the best yes. listener, but I just yes. can't wait for us to tackle this job as a team. Two great and powerful friends taking on the world. And I know Trixie, you, still you were have not to go through all this interview stuff. Wink. But I just had to tell you how excited I am. Trixie, prepare for disappointment. See, prepare for I severe disappointment. You it could work. No, even even the plants going. You stupid. You stupid for that. You are stupid for that. You stupid if you think this is going to work that way. Oh no, you should not have done that. You have opened up a can of her. Vice head mayor candidates, welcome to stage 2. All of you are here because you performed well, or well enough. To <laughs> yeah, Trixie, that was directed at you. The vice head mayor will need to be a master communicator. And then meeting with our students and mayor candidates, welcome to stage I missed two. one of the... All of you are here, performed well, I missed a... or well enough. <laughs> to face your next challenge. All right, next challenge. Parent-teacher conferences. Parent-teacher conferences. That's what I thought she said. Need to be a master communicator, and I can't yes. think of a better test of that than meeting with our students and their parents or guardians. You have. I eagerly look forward to sharing my love of science with both progeny and progenitors. Indeed, yes. an orchestra is made up of different parts, and she good communication again. is the key to harmony. Uh, yep. A lifetime on stage has taught me that good communication is essential Ouch. to holding your audience's attention, which is why Trixie is also known as a great and powerful communicator. And being left behind. Life at the School of Friendship is like a song, and although she started out singing her part pianissimo, Ocellus is now soloing fortissimo. That's good, right? <laughs> Indeed. The yes. science curriculum at the school is somewhat lacking, but Yona has taken to the subject like a yak to smashing. If fostered, I believe she could easily blaze a trail and expand our understanding of science itself. Yaks best! Yaks best! <laughs> Excellent communication there, Doctor. Gallus is a fantastic student. He's even taught me a thing or two about napping. Uh, is that why you're putting me to sleep? <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I have to come to these things. Well, most parents or guardians want to be involved in our students' lives. Maybe we should find a different representative from Griffinstone to be Gallus's you guardian. You are the That'd wrong choice. If you find one, let me know! I'm so confused. Negative. You're saying Silverstream is exuberant? Uh, yep. And enthusiastic? Uh, yep. But aren't those the same? And are they good? I mean, you could be trying to tell her she's unfocused, good. but then you might just be explaining that you appreciate her high energy. 
Uh, nope. Uh, yep. Uh, maybe. There seems to be a lot of nuance here, and I just want to make sure I yeah. understand exactly what you're saying. So what are you saying? Use words. Uh, words. Gaius big doesn't man. need to know I'm proud of him, and he certainly doesn't need me trekking all oh, the way on. to Ponyville. Good, because you're no longer welcome. Well, fine with me. Oh, you, Six, Trixie, you hard head. I'm not sure, but we'll have one less conference to worry about next semester. No, you I need really to kick her. I appreciate your honesty, Big Mac, and you're right. Parents expect a lot of detailed communication when yeah, it comes to their do. kids. And if you aren't comfortable with that, Vice Head Mayor probably isn't the job for you. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Best line he's had. In a while. Okay. Starlight, I know why you wanted to see me, and you don't have to worry. Oh, good. It's thoughtful that you'd want to check in on me after my shocking confrontation with Grandpa Gruff. That's no, not it. You're being an I idiot. I shall recover. Trixie, that's not exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. You, you need to pay attention. You can't get into a shouting match with parents or guardians. For the final stage of the interview process, you'll each have to put together a field trip. And if you really do want the job, I need yours to be exceptional. Because if I had to pick a vice head mayor right now, it wouldn't be you. Tell it to oh, truth. Oh, I see what you're doing. Obviously, Grab her face and pull it close. No, you don't. You are blind. But you want to see my best. Well, message received. Wink. Uh, Trixie, I the great and powerful Knock some sense into her. I hope you're ready for the most exceptional field Pull her aside right now before it gets time. worse. She's not going to. She's not going to. Is it wrong for me to think she might actually pull it off? Yes, it is very wrong. Oh, don't answer that. Uh, not looking forward to the performance? I know Octavia loves music, but a field yeah. trip to a classical music performance isn't my idea of an exciting time. Hmm. Well. Oh! <laughs> Continuity! <laughs> Which? Yes! Call back! Okay, I'm not normally okay, one for this stuff. Yes! He got gals! Trips, I knew right away I wanted to take you all to my lab. I can think of no better trip than one through the quantum field. Yes, it is, it is. I am referring to time travel. <laughs> I've been working on a temporal transportation device. You can't see. 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 You can't see it right now, but you will. Oh no. I get a feeling he's not gonna make it though for some reason. Although Starlight could tell you about some magical time travel. A chair. And three, four, five. Congratulations! You are now five seconds into the future. You see, we are all already time travelers. Hm? Who's next? Yeah. Uh, now what? Oh, I hadn't actually thought that much beyond this. Oh no, <sighs> Doctor, really? Come on. Ponies <laughs> and other students, welcome to the greatest and most. More con confirmation that this doc, this pony doctor, isn't quite the doctor that they're making him out to be. Kinda. I know. I know. It's a lot of fan stuff, but. If that had been actual David Tennant Doctor, he would have made it fun and interesting. But, nonetheless, I do enjoy him as a character, and I'm ever so glad that I got this plush at BronyCon, because I am still a fan. Starlight? you I'm telling you right now, Trixie's not interesting enough to pass. Flunk her now. But, let's see what she actually has. I doubt it's good, though. Where are you and friends going? I am thrilled you asked, because today where? we're not doing a normal, old, boring field trip where you go somewhere. So, not field trip. Au contraire, I could have easily taken are you, are you to Froggy Bottom not Bog, but we don't need to leave anywhere? the comfort of the classroom for our field trip. I can bring the field trip to us. 
and how you're gonna do. Interesting idea, but a very dangerous one. Yes, zap her, zap her, zap her. She needs it. I found the perfect little patch of bog to teleport into the school. I guess I just didn't consider the possibility maybe that not. a hive of flash bees might have nested there. Yeah, maybe look next time. Oh, Trixie, you were gonna ruin this. If you pat, Trixie, you fail. You fail. You fail, Trixie. You fail. Starlight. That's making it worse. That's making it so much worse. I'll handle this. I was only trying to give them an exceptional field trip experience, which you have to admit I did. Yeah, but putting their lives in danger, you dingus. Good job, Starlight. Um, Starlight. What happened? Hey there. So, um, they're going. Nice team. Look at the way the shot is set up. You can see the shadow up there, giving a sense of forbearing in the fact that we can't see her eye, uh, see Starlight's eyes right now. Oh no, this is gonna be big and I am gonna look forward to it. Nice teamwork, am I right? Are you kidding? I don't know what team you're on, but it isn't mine. This was a disaster. It was dangerous. I think the words you're looking for are great and powerful. Disaster and dangerous. It wasn't even acceptable! You went from not taking it seriously to blowing things so out of proportion you put every creature in Good. danger. And I wanted to work with a friend so much, I ignored the fact that you would never be right for the job. I'm confused. What are you saying? I'm saying you'll never be vice head mayor. But, but Good. I thought you created the position for me. No. Why would you think that? I created the position because I need help. But I can't think of any way that you would ever help me. Twilight's friends always helped her. Oh, that's because Twilight's friends are competent. They care yes! about what they're doing, oh, oh. and they know how to do it. Well, I guess I won't take up any more of your time. I will give a slight correction to Starlight. I hate to do that when Trixie does, does kind of deserve this. But Twilight's friends haven't always been competent. After all, look at the rivalry between Applejack and Rainbow Dash. That's gotten in the way of some quality learning times as well, such as a non-compete clause, wherein, yeah, they, they were butting heads over competing to see who would be the better teacher more than they were caring about what their students were doing and how they were going about showing their students things. So, yeah. So that's a slight nuance. But overall, I would say that Starlight is correct in that they are, they, they, they've usually been more competent. So, in a general sense, yeah. If we nitpick through everything, we can put th show things where, no, they haven't been the best for the students and everything, but overall, I would say they are. Anyways, continuing. Dag gummit concern it. Why? I press space and it... Hey there. Ah! Starlight? I just thought I'd check in to see how the search for a vice headmare was going. That was good. Ah, she makes everything a better. A lot better now. Yes. Okay. I really wanted it to be a friend, so I ended up pushing aside some pretty big signs that it wasn't going to work out. Yeah. Not every pony is right for every job, but every pony has something to contribute. The trick is figuring out what. What if you and your friend can't figure it out? If you have a job to do, you mm -hmm. have to decide what's best and be upfront and honest, even if that means you can't work with a friend on it. So, Preach. I guess that means talking to them at the beginning instead of stringing them along until you get so frustrated you totally lose it and say a bunch of really awful things. Pretty much. Oh. That 
was obvious from the get go. And I absolutely love the face that Twilight is giving right now because it's a look of, oh yeah, I've seen this before and I'm just going to watch smugly while you come to the realization of what I've had to had to learn in the past. You'll remember this one next time. Hopefully. That's, that's what that look is. Pretty much. It's pretty much, yeah, I, uh, yeah I've been there. You like you'll learn. Trixie, I know you're in there. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry for all those things I said. I just really wanted it to work out, even though I knew it probably wouldn't. I should have said something sooner. Obviously, we can't have what we want, because I'm terrible at everything and could never help you with anything. You aren't terrible, and you have a lot of great qualities. Maybe not vice head mayor qualities, yeah, no. but no, 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 friend no, no, no. qualities. Well, you really stand by the ponies you care about. Yeah. Dallas even said no creatures ever stuck up for him the way you did with Grandpa Gruff. It would have been nice to run the school together, but not every pony is right for every job. I will give her credit. That was the thing that she did get right in that debacle there between Grandpa Gruff and him and her. Um, that she did stick up for a student, which is good. I will give credit to that. She shouldn't have done it anything in that way, because... But still, the fact that it left someone feeling better is a good thing. So, it's the nuances of trying to figure out, was this the best call? Was was Is what being said the right thing to say in the situation? Perception and all that, perspective. I know how you take your responsibilities seriously. Yeah. And maybe I should have known I wasn't exactly a perfect fan. Yeah. Does that makes you feel any better? No pony was. What do you mean? Well, Dr. Hooves has decided to go back to his experiments, and Octavia yeah. is worried the responsibilities of Vice Head Mayor will take too much time away from her music. Oh. Maybe getting a Vice Head Mayor was a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I'm going to say that right now. It's always nice to have a second opinion from someone you can A, trust, and B, who is competent. And, and it's a shame to see that Octavia won't be coming back. Because I liked all everything that Octavia did was excellent. She did the best out of all of them in every category. She was suited for it. But her passion and her career is what she chooses to follow, and that's understandable. That's fine. You know, I don't have a qualm with that. And then I think I would act in the end, realizing, thinking about that, was like, well, wouldn't she have to give up her music or something? Wouldn't that cut big time into what she has to do for her career? She already has? Yeah, so I'm glad that this is the decision made. But let's see what Starlight, happens. Starlight, obviously you'd like some help. And hiring a vice head mayor is a great idea. But who could it be? Well, you need some pony who's responsible like you. And detail-oriented yeah. like Twilight. And smart, obviously. Sunburst. It's school, after all. It Sunburst. It would be nice if I got along with them, since having it be a friend can't work out. Why not? And I knew Aha! as soon as I read Trixie's scroll that it was the exact right thing for me to do. But what about being Flurry Heart's crystaller? Well, honestly, now that Flurry Heart's a little older, there really isn't much for me to do outside hey. of the occasional tradition or festival. And working at a school is what I always thought I'd do. I mean, if it's all working out. Are you kidding? You're hired! I had a feeling this would work ship. out. Ship, 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 Trixie, the great and powerful advice giver, problem talk through her, and student care about her. I think I'll go with friend. 
friend is perfect. But there's a position here at the school you and might be right for too. What would you say really? to being the School of Friendship's new student counselor? I'd say this office needs a bit of redecorating. Potted plants scream desperation. Phyllis, no! <laughs> Oh my gosh, now I'm thinking about Phyllis from Red vs. Blue. Oh my gosh. Hello, I am Phyllis, your office plant for today. Anybody who's seen Red vs. Blue, tell me you you didn't think, as soon as I said Phyllis from Red vs. Blue, you didn't think of that vo of Phyllis's voice, or Sheila's voice, whichever one you want to call her. Oh my gosh. Mm, why didn't I think of that joke sooner? It could have been so much funnier. Could have been so much funnier if I'd made a j couple jokes earlier on. Oh, I would have had a joke about the BS meter. Oh well. Anyway, so. My logical data analysis sector indicates that would be highly unlikely. And my bullshit meter agrees. Uh, I, I, this was overall a good episode. It was... It was nice seeing some characters return. Doctor Who, Who's... And, uh, and Octavia especially, and thank goodness got out spoiled rich right from the get go. <sighs> Stuck up nose. Yeah, she's the wrong choice in any universe. And then Big Mac, I liked bi seeing that Big Mac was in there and helping. But yeah, you need to be able to communicate a lot better other than just yup and nope and nope. Yeah. But yeah, I, I this was overall a good episode. It brought about a good conflict and some good lessons that need... Yeah, it should have been obvious. Be more open and communicative at the start of something. Don't just let Trixie live in her own little world thinking she's going to get what she thinks she's owed or, or what she's expecting someone to say. Don't ever let that be the case because that can lead to a lot of problems down the road. And that's good that that's a lesson that's been learned. So, yeah. Six more episodes. Six more episodes. Wow. That, that's all that's left. I'm not going to dwell on it right now. Because there are other things to react to. And other things to do. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment what your favorite part of this video was. What, whether you agree with any of the statements I made or disagree with what the statements that I made. Um, subscribe if you're new. And tap the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. That way you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. And also go check out my Discord. Link is also down in the description below. Come join. We'll talk. Post memes. Yada yada. Have some fun. This has been... Where's my buttons? Right there. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30. Signing off.